Um, Susie, let's start with you. I mean, there's horrendous um, statistics there, and, isn't and it, really? And they're getting worse and worse. Well, the first study I did 10 years ago um, was showing much lower figures, and now we know that really we're stealing the childhoods of children as young as five who are playing uh, games on their computers, preparing them for plastic surgery and swapping tokens. So that the idea that appearance is absolutely the most critical thing in life is now, I think, a form of violence against girls. It's very, de very depressing. We know that the government are, are taking this issue seriously, yeah. they say, because they were issuing another report. So is that a sign that they care about this or they just actually don't know? No, what I don't think is? that's true. I think they've been very committed to, particularly Jo Swinson, to working on this and, and I've worked very closely with her. But the problem is you're, we're, we're talking about really serious big industries here. We're talking about the food industry, which of course owns the diet industry. We're talking about the fashion industry that presents one thing but sells most of its clothes in another thing. We're talking about the cosmetic surgery industry. Uh, so it's not a very straightforward thing to get on. You actually have to have a lot of muscle behind it. And I think this is an important report, but it's the beginning of a big campaign. Well, I mean, what do you make of it? I mean, of course, can you've, you've come to fame for being a fashion blogger and taking pictures of yourself mm. in various outfits. And of course, you're a very well-rounded young woman, but clearly there are many others who are. What, what do you make of it? Yeah, it is, I mean, the stat that really stuck out for me was a quarter of girls not putting their hands up mm. in class. And it's, it's, I did nearly burst into tears when I saw that because it's just devastating. And I, it's really hard to balance when you're kind of working in fashion because you're selling a fantasy, obviously. And But then we all relate to people that are kind of, you know, something that we understand. And it's not just about size. It's about race and age and all of those things as well. And it's not just women either because it's boys uh, eating yeah. disorders with men is up as well. So. It is, um, it is really difficult. I mean, I found there was a dress I wanted to write about today and I just thought, actually, you know what, if you're not a size six and six foot tall, that's not going to work. And I just thought, I can't write about that one. That doesn't make sense to the vast majority but of women. But it's so awful, isn't it, that our eyes have been trained to just mm. look at certain kinds of pictures rather yeah. than seeing the variety and the pleasure that actually all of our bodies could be. So mm. what do we do about it, Susie? I mean, well, I'm I mean, kind I of... You know, cats out of the bag. How on earth do you control something Well, I think there's like been this? so much, um, so many attempts by voluntary groups, by, by you, by um, Benetton, Dove, all sorts of brands, Debenhams, m and to try to increase our visual culture and not have it just reduced and reduced. That's one piece. But, but perhaps we have to also help young people make their own culture rather than being passive in relation to it and thinking that they can only, they're only okay if they can conform to that culture. And do you feel, maybe not you personally, but your industry is responsible, Poppy? I mean, you are one for taking selfies and you're a very yeah. beautiful young no, girl. I mean, are you part of it, do you think? I think we're really lucky that with kind of as the rise of things like Twitter, there are people, celebrities even, that will say, do you know what, I don't look like that. You know, a celebrity will say, this is what I actually looked like on that day of the photo shoot, and this is how much it's been airbrushed. And they're angry themselves, that because it's not their fault. It's, you know, it's the advertising company or it's the magazine that have kind okay. of... Just briefly, Susie, some, some advice, please, for people who are watching who might agree or see themselves in these um, numbers, if you don't mind. Well, I think dare to risk feeling okay about yourself. I mean, that's not so easy. Look at a picture of yourself from last year. You're probably really going to like it, but you probably felt awful at the time. And I think if you can say, wait, I've got a distortion going here, which has come from the outside, risk feeling okay today.